Hey guys, my name is Jake. Uh, I'm from Germany, so please excuse some mispronunciation. Uh, I was a volunteer at the Beacon 2016 and 17, and when Reina asked me to do the storytelling, I said, yeah, sure, why not? So here we are. I'm gonna tell you about a storm story from the Bible today. And I actually experienced the storm myself uh, beginning of February. Um, it was a harsh storm, it was like 136 miles per hour wind. And I was driving home, it was a five hour drive, and I was so scared that that something may happen, like trees fall down the road or, or trucks may be in an accident. I was, I was scared, but um, I know there's someone uh, I can trust and about this someone is the story today. So do you guys remember last week when we heard about Jesus fed more than 5,000 people with only two fish and five loaves of bread? After this amazing miracle, Jesus went away to pray by himself. And while the disciples uh, got into a boat and, and, and headed out onto the water. Soon they found themselves caught in a terrible storm. But before that, uh, before we hear more, uh, let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for this great opportunity that I can be a part of the beacon again. Um, it's so good to see everybody. And now I want to, to calm down the kids' hearts and minds, to focus on today's story, um, bless them all. Um, and thank you so much again for this great opportunity. Amen. So kids, um, you can open your Bibles to Matthew 14. Um, that's the passage we're reading and talking about today. So again, the terrible disciples sailed into the storm for several hours. They must have been so exhausted. This boat didn't have a motor. The disciples had to roar the boat the whole day. They rode and rode for hours and hours late into the night. But suddenly, the disciples saw something that really scared them. They saw a man walking towards them in the middle of the storm, on the water. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But then they, had, they heard a familiar voice and saying, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. When they looked closer, they realized it was Jesus. Peter yelled out loud, Lord, if it's you, Tell me to come to you on the water. Wow, Peter was a really gutsy guy, wasn't he? When Jesus told him to come, he climbed out of the boat. He took one step and another one, and he was walking on the water in the storm with Jesus. Just imagine that. But Peter took his eyes off Jesus and remembered the storm. He became afraid and, does anyone know what happened next? What had happened to Peter? Right, he's drowned uh, because Peter doubted um, doubted Jesus, and then when he said when he when he drowned in the water, he shouted, "Lord, save me!" The Bible tells us right away that Jesus reached out and grabbed Peter by the hand, saving him from drowning. Even during Peter's most frightening moment, Jesus was near. He was just one arm's length away. Jesus looked at Peter and said, "You of little faith." Why did you doubt me? Jesus was near and wanted Peter to trust him. Then, when Jesus and Pied Peter climbed into the boat together, the storm stopped immediately. Everyone was watching, worshiping Jesus, saying, truly, you are the Son of God. The disciples may not have fully believed Jesus was the Messiah before this experience, but after they saw Jesus' power, they believed. Sometimes when, when we experience hard times, we expect God to take all of our problems away. But God never promised to give us a problem-free life. He promised, us to, uh, uh, he promised to be near in the middle of it. When we all have challenges and learn to trust God in the middle of struggles, we grow in faith. So right now is a difficult time for all of us. I'm pretty busy with my job and, and, and university is, is killing me. There's so many stuff to do and, and homework assignments and, and every uh, professor does his own thing and, and is, I'm super swamped right now. But you know, God is with me and Jesus is with me in all of it. And, and I can trust on him. And I know everything is gonna be fine in the end of this semester because um, he is God. Um, I can just trust him. This is so good to know, you know, even in this, type of storm to have somebody to relay on and to trust on it's the best present you could have again so it's okay 
to pray for God to take your troubles away, or sometimes he does. But we should also pray for God to remind us that he is near. Sometimes the way God serves us is by increasing our faith. We can always trust God to know what is best for us. We can also trust him to comfort us because he is near. So thank you so much for this. Um, I hope it was kind of understandable and you got the you got the story. And then praise the Sunday and praise the beacon. Thank you.